Uh, bringing it back to the conversation about the, the overall process of admissions mm -hmm. then, we talked a lot about the applications, about the essays and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the interviews for a moment. Mm -hmm. What does mm -hmm. the interview process look like at Johns Hopkins? Well, we still do the traditional interview, um, the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, everyone has two interviews with members of our committee, so we do not use non-committee members. Some schools have just interviewers and then the admissions committee is separate. Uh, all of our interviewers are members of the admissions committee, and they are, um, everyone has two, as I said, and one is a faculty member, and the other is always a fourth-year medical student or rising um, fourth year who's maybe taking a, a research year or pursuing an MPH or is in our MD-PhD program. Hmm. Um, so, and they're all trained to, to give interviews, and uh, they have to do concise interviews, uh, write-ups, and uh, we want to put our best foot forward, but we also want to learn a few things from the perspective of a faculty member, but also the perspective of a medical student. Mm -hmm. I want the students to tell us, is this someone you can see in class next to you? Is this someone who's going to take advantage of all the resources we offer at Hopkins? Mm -hmm. So what are some of the mistakes that students make in the interview process? Well, um, trying to seize control of the interview. How so? Um, by not letting your interviewer ask his or her questions, you know. Um, it, it, either that person is much too comfortable or maybe they're nervous and don't realize that they're, it's an interview <laughs> and um, they, they go on and on and on. It's just not a good thing. Um, we want you to be relaxed, of course, but uh, you're there because we want to size you up. Mm -hmm. But we also want you to size us up mm -hmm. as an institution. And if we can't learn about why medicine is important to you and what we can offer you uh, so that the interviewer can tell the committee, um, then it, it, it may have gone astray, that's all. Um, sometimes interviews with our students um, are um, not what they should be because the interviewer thinks, oh, well, this is someone who's only 24, 25 years old, 26 years old, and uh, wants to treat them as if it wasn't important when, in fact, our student interviewers are an incredibly um, important resource for us. You know, so um, you know, one of the things we look for at Hopkins is, is this someone who's going to be a team player? Mm -hmm. And our, our students are really adept at ferreting that out by their questions. And, and they do have set questions, both interviewers do, but um, we ask them to, to ask a, a set of questions that will get at that. And sometimes the, the uh, interviewee just goes a little off script. Mm -hmm. okay.